Okay, uh, Bowden, you ended up uh, top four, right? With yeah. dangers or the, the highest placed uh, danger FTK profile. Um, anything you want to say before we go to the um, list? Ban Firewall Dragon. That's <laughs> pretty much it. Okay, let's see the list. Three. 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 Yeah, it's just gonna keep going. Uh, yeah, so I played. Uh. 24 dangers. Right. So it's uh, three chupacabra, three snake. Actually, it's just every danger that exists in triplicate. Uh, monsters, at least. So I played three of them because uh, every time you like resolve one of these and it discards a card that isn't the same one that you've like revealed, it gives you another card. Um, and they all just have like insane effects. Like even even the dud ones, like this going first, like you just reveal it through something like brings out a monster. You make Curious or you make Sayuja, like. This one like helps you fix hands. Uh, Nessie's like in insane. Jackalope's insane. Um, the snake just summons itself for free, and this one just like helps you when you like miss a couple dangers. Uh -huh. But going second, uh, I just really enjoyed playing a good amount of monsters because you just summon these so easily uh, if you don't miss, and then you just present so much damage on board against a lot of the fair decks. Uh, against like Striker especially, you can just put like 12,000 damage on board against like a single Sky Striker card and if they don't set up with three spells in Grave, you just like kill them. Right. So that's why I played uh, all 24. Okay. Uh, then for the Dark Worlds, it was three Snow, three Brow, and then one Grapho. Um, all the other Dark Worlds kind of suck except for Beige. I think Beige is like actually okay because it generates another monster on the field and it doesn't use your normal summon which is like pretty big so maybe hindsight I put this in. Um, I'm not too sure if I change anything else. So this usually gets cited out because it's like one of the worst, like not the worst ones because um, you always like generate another card that your danger can hit. But it's the worst one in terms of like it doesn't draw you a card or get you closer to like uh, any of your power cards. It just like is a dark world that can search brow and brow will draw you an extra card, which is really good. Seven and then my one of oh sorry my three of was uh, Armageddon Knight. This card was insane the entire weekend. Um, there's a lot of one-offs that it like works with and it dumps all your combo pieces and there's a lot of hands where this um, just acts like another combo piece with cards like Soul Charge and uh, Firewall Dragon which is really good. And then my one-offs were uh, Zephyrus, uh, Armageddon Knight uh, dumping this, bounces a danger back and then you get to cycle closer to another card and it lets you make a card in my extra deck which is really good. It also helps you make Sayuja and uh, Curious which is really nice. Uh, Cannon Soldier, which you just need for the FTK. Um, I played one Shadow Beast to send with Curious and Armageddon. It just draws you a card, and you can play more than one. It's like not awful because, like, generally you, drawing this isn't bad. But the fact that you can send it now with Armageddon it means like one is just like perfect. You don't want to like draw it too often because you have to ditch it, and it's like relatively bad. But just the ability to send it with Curious or Armageddon is just uh, insane. And then I played uh, one Grinder Golem. There's a really cool combo with this that uh, I'll show later. Right. But uh, it just helps you uh, summon a one card Curious or a one card Firewall, which is really good. Uh, so it was the Monsters. I don't know how many I played, but my deck is 46 cards. Uh, I played three Allure of Darkness. Uh, they're all dark. Uh, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> one card Destruction. Um, this card's not as good as I thought it was. Like, obviously drawing it is really good. Uh, the only benefit it has is like fixing your bad hands. Uh, and you don't have to gamble on like what you're doing with it But otherwise it's very dangerous because some opponents will like present like a really weak opening And you have to card destruction and they can just draw into like hand traps So it's like not that not that ideal But there were a bunch of games where I would summon like uh, as a thought Oh the secret card of my extra deck and then card destruction like BA and like cool stuff like that And then they, just, they weren't able to interact and I was able to dig to combo pieces So this was like you have to play it like playing dark worlds uh, then Soul Charge, the God card, I ripped this, like, it's no one's business. I won a bunch of games where this was just set, though, because you can just kill them, and this is like a backup plan if they hand trap you multiple times. So that's really good. I, I think maybe Reborn might also be uh, applicable, given how many times I would just, like, have this set. And the only thing I'm losing to is, like, Impermanence or maybe, like, Bell if I couldn't as a thought. So you can just get rid of the Firewall, Reborn it, and then trigger it again. And then my last card, which was literally the MVP of the weekend and probably, like, the greatest card right now, please by the ultimate rares off me, beginning of the end, um... <laughs> This card says draw three cards. If you make Curious, that's three Dark Monsters in Graveyard, uh, you will send Beast and then you'll mill three and your deck is like pretty much just all dark. So this card's live like relatively quickly, uh, especially with like Armageddon Knight, like a single danger that doesn't miss, uh, so it's insane. Uh, we resolve like multiples of these uh, in a lot of games, but like usually you just see uh, Soul Charge and just kill them. But there's some games, uh, there was a game I think in top 
16 versus uh, Josh, where I my bottom card, like my bottom four cards, involved a cannon soldier, um, and then I ended up with one card in deck after resolving uh, two of these. So it was crazy. And that was my main deck, 46 cards. Um, my extra deck was. One Cerberus, one Phoenix, one Unicorn, and one Mermaid. Uh, so like, these are just the standard. Um, this helps play around Ogre, I guess. Uh, and then this like allows you to shuffle the Firewall back. So if they impermanence it or bell it, you can shuffle it back into your extra deck, turn this and another card into it. Usually like when you Tomahawk, and then you can make the Firewall again to bounce back a combo piece, and the Cannon Soldier can just like fire off a bunch of dudes, which is really good. And this one also like just enables you to, uh, special with Firewall, when you have like uh, Phoenix plus like Wall next to it, you just turn it into Mermaid, just like the Goki combo, except we don't play Iblu. Uh One Levia. So a lot of the opening hands where you have Cannon Soldier, you just want to like banish the Soldier with a Lure because it's not like really beneficial to you early on unless you have the other combo pieces. And then you can just prioritize getting to two level threes to get it back. Um, so like this card is just like almost invaluable. Uh, the only other alternative I thought was maybe playing Dweller because there were a lot of games where I couldn't FTK, but I could end on Dweller and then uh, like just make sure they can't play the following turn, which is really big. But uh, this this card was fine. I won a bunch of games just because I had this in my extra deck. Um, the other cool cards that we played were Outer Entity Nyala and uh, Azathoth. So, two level fours turns into this, which turns into this, and this card, uh, I'm sure most of the people that watch Pepe, like, back in 2015-ish, would know that, like, Patelemaeus would summon this, and it would just, like, cold wave your opponent for monster effects. So, the idea is, the sooner that you can get two level fours on the field, and, like, have it not be terrible, you would just um, summon this, and then they can't uh, Ash, Bell, Ogre, like any any hand trap that isn't impermanence essentially. Droll is kind of iffy because they can usually just activate it very freely, but uh, there's some hands where you can just play this straight away and it's like fine and it beats Droll. But uh, yeah, this card's just really powerful, especially like the people who don't know it exists. They can like hold stuff that they shouldn't be holding and you just summon this and they can't do anything. So this card was like MVP of the weekend. I summoned it so many times. Um, Space Insulator, you need it because like it's a dark and it's like uh, part of the Tomahawk combo. Like you just points down and then like turns into other stuff. And it lets you uh, link with tokens as well. So this card's pretty pretty big. Uh, Spider, Link Karibo. This is only for the uh, Grinder Golem. This is for Grinder Golem and Tomahawk. Uh, these are the two most self-explanatory cards in my extra deck. Uh, this card's insane and low key probably should be banned because it sends any card from your deck to the graveyard and can add stuff back as well. So against Thunder Dragons you can just like dump stuff and then like crack in and then add it back. So like it's not that good with Soul Charge but there's some games where like this is like really relevant. Like especially when they have like a slowish start and then this one should be banned. Uh, Akashic is also for the Grinder Golem combo and then Tomahawk is just like there because it's the nuts card with two level sevens. And then the last minute addition was uh, Sayuja, which comes up a lot between Tomahawk and just summoning a bunch of dangers. So like this card was also really good. It also helps you enable like the FTK by special summoning. So it was pretty cool. Uh, my side deck was three cherries. Uh, this is for Goki to an extent and the FTK. Goki usually weren't Gumball you because you're playing a lot of Dark Worlds and Dangers. Um, so you can just do this on the Firewall and then they can't like Gumball you for four, which was like the big issue before. Uh, this is also for Goki. Just really strong. Um, oh, this is also just for the Mirror Match too. There were a lot of Mirror Matches. Uh, this was specifically for the Mirror Match, uh, but it had overlap against uh, decks that would just bring Border and like Majesty's Fiend in against you. Like ideally this wouldn't be in my deck a lot of the time, but uh, I figured against BA it was okay, and uh, in top 16 he summoned Majesty's Fiend, and this like overlapped against Rhino and stuff, so that was kind of cool. Um, other than that, I think against Alter Guys, I don't want to side this in because it's not like that good going second, and like having to set it just doesn't really achieve too much. But maybe I'm just wrong. Uh, Pankratops. So this card was the out that we had against Rivalry, where if you open it in your six, you just special it. Um, if they rivalry you at any point when you try and activate a danger, which you can activate under rivalry when you have a monster, by the way, they're crazy, right? Dangers can be activated when you're drawled and when you're under rivalry. Sick. Um, but you just chain this and snipe the rivalry and then continue playing. It's also a level 7, so it can turn into Tomahawk when it's like not super relevant. But this card's just all around like crazy good. Um, and then Twin. Twin's really good. I'll show the combo with the Grinder Golem quickly. And then I, I'm sure everyone else knows the FTK stuff. Like, you can watch my feature match, but the Grinder Golem one is like our favorite thing. 
Uh, so you will just have to open the grind of golem, and then let's say you've resolved like a danger <laughs> at some point. So let's say you resolve like a dud one. Uh, so you'll grind a golem here. Uh, you, let's say you just like resolve the danger. Sorry, here. Uh, you'll put your two tokens on board. So Aaron cheats firm in here. Uh, the two tokens will turn into a Link Karibu and then a Link Spider and oh god like you guys know where I'm going with this one now this will turn into a Kashi Magician which will now bounce the Danger back and the Grinder Golem um, and then if you want to summon Curious you just give them the Grinder Golem again this is cool because if you put it up here you can kill it with Cerberus and it'll trigger the Firewall randomly which can also just get bad cards out of your hand um, so when you summon the two tokens to get to Curious though you just have it like this you use Link Karibu's effect because they're level 1 darks. So you summon it back and then this turns into a one card Curious to dump whatever you want and enable your beginning of the app so that's really cool. So this card was like insane over the whole weekend and probably shouldn't exist. I'm surprised it took people so long to realize how good it was. And uh, yeah, that was my deck. Any last words? Uh, shout out to Team ARG, uh, Ophidian, Gamer Inc. <coughs> Max, you want to say the rest of them? Uh, Monster Protectors. Um, Argent uh, Saga. Argent Saga, ARG trading card game. Yeah. Uh, I think that's it. Yeah, and then shout out to everyone that like worked on this deck. Dirk for coming second. We can't win with this deck apparently, but maybe Konami will start banning FTKs. Uh, and then everyone that we stayed with, all cool guys, fun and sick. God bless. Okay, thanks for the list. Congrats.